Hey guys, Nitsuhone here with the uh, ninth match with the Black Red Zombie deck that I'm recording. Um, it looks like we don't have the best hand ever. Um, it's kind of a hard one. I mean, if I, it, you know, it's a case where if I knew what my opponent was playing, I might keep it. But I think we need a mulligan. I mean, just five lands and these two guys just isn't great. I mean, we do have a one drop and maybe we'll draw more, but it's hard to know, so... All right, I'm glad we mulligan. We have a faster hand now, um, and that'll work for me. I think I'm going to play the Grave Crawler first. In a previous game, I said I was uncertain about which to play, but the fact that you know if my opponent plays a two-drop, they're going to be much less willing to trade uh, with Grave Crawler than they will with Diagraph Ghoul, or a one-drop, too, since most one-drops can kill it. All right, looks like we're playing Burn. All right, we got a second grave crawler. We'll send him out there. In the past, our deck has matched up pretty well against Burn uh, before I made the changes. I don't think I've recorded any for the channel, but it seems to race it pretty well. Okay, maybe it's not Burn. It could be Delver. It's hard to know. Our opponent will let us show us soon enough. I think, but okay, we're just gonna swing with our grave crawler right away, and then we'll play out both our diagraph ghoul and our grave crawler. So we'll play a Diagraph Ghoul, and we'll play a Grave Crawler. So we immediately have a lot of damage on the table. It'd be great if we could top deck our Death Baron here. Don't really think it's going to happen, but in fact, our opponent might just kill our Diagraph Ghoul right now. Yep. That's okay with us. Doing some more drawing. Wow, so we've seen three Serum Visions so far, which is pretty nice for our opponent. Smoothing out his draws. All right, he's just swinging away with that Lava Mancer. Um, yeah, it's hard. I kind of just want to block. Oh, I can't block. Never mind. <laughs> if I could have, I probably would have blocked there. You just keep drawing lands, which is a little frustrating. Um, but since his Lava Mancer's tapped down, we'll probably play out our Guild Mage. He may have, like, Mental Misstep or something like that. And if he does, then so be it. All right. Doesn't look like he did. No, I'm not really sure what we're playing here. It's definitely got some great cards in it, but I don't know if it's a deck I've seen before. It may just be a different version of Delver. Yeah, it looks like a different version of Delver for sure now. You know, if he lets us untap with our Guild Mage, we're just going to kill that Pyromancer before things get out of hand. Uh, we'll see if he does. He's probably thinking about killing it right now. All right, looks like he's going to let us untap with our guild mage. Uh, we do have another creature, but I think I'm still going to go with my original plan. Um, first, I'm going to swing with everybody. I 
I doubt he'll. He may. I mean, he may burn out the guild mage in response. And if he does, we'll uh, discard our sulfurous springs and kill the pyromancer. He may also just take it, which is even better for us. <laughs> so. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, if he wants to trade, I'm pretty happy about that trade. See if he does tries to do any tricks here. Um, you know, I could also just take out the Lava Mancer at the same time, and I think I'm going to try to. Uh, and I'm going to discard our springs. And if we can, two, you know, take out two creatures here, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, it looks like we're going to. Two, two for, well, two for two, really. Although, what is this? So he is going to get an elemental out of the deal, but that's okay. We've got him at six and we have Timurite in our hand, so that's a pretty good place to be, especially if he's going to go to five. <laughs> so if we draw a red mana here, we could just win the game, depending on what he does, especially if he goes to five. Okay, another Lava Mancer. Does make it harder for us to win this turn. Yeah, this carding the Soul for Springs kind of hurts now, but I mean, Timurite's pretty important. All right, so we're just going to swing with our dudes. All right, what's he doing here? He may try to kill my other grave crawler, which I'm okay with. Yeah, he is. So we're going to get both our dudes back. He's not going to take any damage this turn, but we are going to get both our grave crawlers back. So unless he has a counter spell, which is possible. You know, and just in case it's mana leak, I'm going to do that. Okay, so grave crawler. All right, so now we can't cast our grave crawler. Oh, I guess he did it at the wrong time. If he'd done that at the right time, uh, he we couldn't have, but he didn't. So we're okay with that. All right, we won game one on the backs of Grave Crawlers, which are pretty great against a deck with a lot of removal like this, uh, just because, you know, they're, they don't stay down. Um, so what did we see? Saw that his deck is pretty controlling. Uh, a lot of removal, a lot of lands, uh, non-basic lands. Um, I'm kind of tempted to stick an Athamancer in here. I haven't really, I haven't tried it out yet. Um, I haven't gone up against the obvious opponents for it yet. Um, so, I, but I think I am going to put it in. We're going to lose two Dread Boars and put in two Anathamancers. And see how that goes. All right, well, an absolutely awful hand here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if we just had two lands in place of maybe this Executioner, this Anathamancer would be great, but we don't, so we got a mulligan. Another horrible hand, mulligan down to five, and we've got to keep this one, I think. 
It's not looking great. That stockpile makes things a little better, you know, when you're kind of mana screwed. Like if I can draw another lands, I'll be pretty happy. I'm glad a Snapcaster Mage is one of the things that got taken out there. Opponent is also mana screwed. Top deck to Diagraph Ghoul. So that's nice. Maybe not as nice as a land would have been, but pretty nice. He's gonna, yeah, he's digging for lands. What is he throwing in there now? Tassiger got thrown in there now too. That's good for us. Yeah, he's just, he's really desperate for lands. He has more of a way to dig for them than we do. Uh, probably also runs a lot more than we do, so I'm sure he's a little bit frustrated. All right, we drew our second land, which is great for us. This deck has to have Delver in it, right? I mean, it's got Young Pyromancer. has a lot of the, the aspects of Delver, but we haven't actually seen the Delver come out. Um, we're going to play out our Guild Mage. Had a nice big turn for us in the last game, and getting another one of those would be good. Okay, our opponent got a second land. I need to be a little wary here. He's probably sideboarded in things that just are mass removal. He may even have Pyroclasm right now. Um, so just going in, you know, create all crazy is can be a little dangerous. All right, Tassiger shows up. Um, I think what we're going to do here is we're going to swing with our Diagraph Ghoul. And we will bolt Tassiger to finish him. It is a two for one, but it's worth it there. And then we'll play out a second Diagraph Ghoul. The fewer Tassigers, the better. All right. Uh, drew a third land now. Swing with our Diagraph. Yeah, this deck's pretty interesting. It's kind of just another pile of really good cards. It doesn't seem to just be, you know, the basic Delver deck. We haven't seen Delver, for that matter, but just a bunch of good cards, basically, so far. Let's see if he has a counter spell for that. He doesn't, but he's going to kill a dude. Okay, um, I think here I'm actually going to try to play out my stockpile. First we're going to swing. All right. With Snapcaster he can block and then uh, bolts our messenger. What did he give flashback to? Lightning Bolt. Yeah, what I expected. So he'll lose two here, but he'll take out our messenger. Um, I'm a little tempted to play the Executioner instead. I mean, he'll, he'll have to bolt the Geralt's Messenger, but I think the stockpile is a better way to go. I mean, he's trying, you know, he's got all these Snapcaster Mages and ways to uh, slow us down. Um, and I think just, you know, making zombies, like, every turn is going to be pretty important. You know, drawing the extra cards we want. So we're going to play out our stockpile and then discard the Executioner at the end of his turn if he lets us. I'm pretty sure he's going to bolt the messenger. I mean, he only gets only has flashback till the end of the turn. 
Oh, wow. Spell Snare. So he's not going to bolt our messenger now. He saw that as more of a threat. That works for me, I think. Uh, he may have another bolt in his hand or something like that. Or another Snapcaster in his hand. Uh, I think we're just going to go ahead and play out our Risen Executioner now. See what he does about that. Yeah, not, he had a bolt in his hand. Our execution resolves. I'm going to hold on to the springs. You know, nothing in our deck costs more than four, so make him think I have something, even though we don't. Yeah, we don't have grave crawlers or anything in our graveyard. Okay, well, we've got our own bolt now, which is nice. Um, I mean, if we hit him, if we actually get to hit him this turn, which kind of seems unlikely, uh, we'll probably just win. <laughs> Only does two to him, so he's going to two for one himself. Yeah, we're all right with that. Uh, you know, we're both now both of us are pretty low on cards. I mean, he has more ways to abuse his graveyard um, probably than I do. Um, we're just going to keep holding on to this uh, bolt. I mean, this springs, the bolt, obviously. Okay, so there's something for us to bolt. Um, so we're going to, all right, uh, how much do you cost right now? A lot, I think, eight, yes, so we'll play that land out, we may start playing lands out and hoping we can get to where, all right, that guild mage is pretty great here, um, Let's see if he lets us resolve it. I may just play out a land if he lets us resolve it. And he did. Um, and so I am going to play out a land. And the reason is so that I can make a zombie just... Uh, it's actually a goblin. Uh, right now. And swing for two. Alright. Got him at five now. All right, we won. Uh, I'm not exactly sure, like I was saying, what this deck was. Uh, it was interesting, certainly. Um, and it had, you know, a lot of really great cards in it. I think it has, uh, it's, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's loaded with a lot of good cards. I think it's probably, it's a pretty competitive deck. It could probably do well in a modern daily. Um, so, I mean, it wasn't nearly as, Formidable as the last two decks we played, I don't think. It may have been partly just because it's a good matchup for us, uh, but it went well. Uh, the deck performed well in all three of these matches against pretty, you know, expensive decks, which always feels good, you know, when you're taking down decks running, you know, Snapcaster Mages and multiple dual lands and things like that. Um, and we did pretty well. So I think I'm actually, I'm pretty satisfied with the deck, how it's performed since I changed it. I think I'm actually tomorrow going to try to enter into a modern daily um i'll record that we'll see how it goes um it'd be great if we could finish finish in the prizes it make me feel really good about this deck and everything and maybe we will and we'll see what happens uh when i rec i'll probably record it tomorrow i don't know that it'll all be posted tomorrow probably the day after that which is uh what is the day after that it's may 22nd i guess so 
Um, thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of how the deck's doing in the comments. Uh, if you know what this deck was, too, let me know. Uh, so uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.